are the most vulnerable, and also children. And when you, when you, when you listen carefully to the um, issues surrounding the kidnapping of the girls in Takrati, some one of them was lured with um, uh, a job. I think another was lured with a phone or something like that. So um, it raises legitimate issues in our society. I mean, to what extent do we educate our children uh, to be cautious? Uh, on a daily basis, you sell things on social media. Someone would want to meet you and buy something for you. It all boils down to the education culture. But like I indicated, girls are usually very vulnerable. Uh, they are easy to convince. Uh, sometimes the criminals use uh, very cunning ways to get them to trust them. Then they are able to lure them, and that is when they kidnap or abduct them. But in many of these cases, too, they kidnap them to request ransom. All right. Unfortunately, also, we have uh, cases of ritualists, you know, wanting human heads and limbs. With the way things are going, it's, it's really scary, and I think time is of the essence, and uh, the police would have to be more proactive in the way they conduct their investigation. <laughs>quite unfortunate uh, because it has the tendency of dragging the reputation of Ghana into disrepute. Some time ago, I wanted to transact using my visa card, but I was told Ghana was bad, okay? Primarily due to the, uh, the, the, the rampant nature of online fraud coming from Ghana, okay? So it affects the ordinary citizens, and um, that is not good enough. You see, romance fraud happens when people are not vigilant. You know, you, you meet someone today, tomorrow he wants to marry you, the next day my mother is sick, my father is sick, we need to go to the hospital, I need money. People are not just vigilant, and it all boils down to our, our, our internet habit. You see, we, we think uploading pictures and posts on Facebook and Twitter is knowing it. But we don't really know how to use it. We don't. Whatever you are sent, you click. We are, we are not diligent. We are so reckless with, with some of these things. On social media, especially Facebook, we click on every link we see. Click here to see who secretly admires you. Click here to see who you would marry in future. Click here to see how you would look like in, in the near future and all that. These are fishing sites. They are spam. They redirect you to spam sites and they have access to your information on your phone and your computer. Why is it that when you go online looking for bags to buy, the next minute when you are on Facebook, it splashes in your face adverts of bags? You've been fished. That is how they get the information. So before we click, we have to think. And that is what we're failing to do. And that is why many of these romance, romance guys are, are getting their way with it. Because many of them are school dropouts. 
They don't even know how to type good English. When you see it, you should be able to tell, right, from even looking at it. <laughs>